crystal power cells running a fan or a motor. This is the perfected design. They confer water into electricity and you literally just add, if the motor starts to dim down in a day or two, you literally just add a drop of water and it'll keep going. So you can have 12 or 24 volts if you wish. Use it to recharge batteries and run an inverter. There's no limit. The imagination's the limit. So I'll be building these and selling them. I'm not sure yet on the price. Maybe 10 or $20 a piece. Um, the outside of the cell, it's constructed with just a copper tube with a magnesium core in the center that has a screw that's drill and tapped in the center and the mix is four different ingredients all non-corrosive materials um, I'm gonna keep my mix secret for a while because I'm selling these products um, but there are only, there's only four ingredients to it it's a very simple mix Absolutely non-corrosive, no salt in them. I'll say that, absolutely no salt. I just sealed the top with hot glue and drilled a small little hole where I can add drops of water. And yeah, crystal power cells. Um, See, you can clearly see everything. If I touch one of the cells here, it'll probably go out. And it's going out. Because they're all shorting out now. It should be going out. And there we go. The thing is just about shorting out. It's slowed. If I separate them, it'll start to spin quicker. It'll build up a charge. Um, I can show you a power reading on them. So that's crystal power cells, perfected design that do not corrode running a motor. So now I will hook up my meter to it. So we have our meter hooked up. It is kicking out 8.40 volts DC. I don't want this touching. So yeah, we are kicking out 8.40 volts DC at 40 milliamps, 30, watching it. And it might go up. Sometimes they go up under load. So we will watch that. Again, this is my crystal power cell mix perfected using chat GPT. Four ingredients, all non-corrosive. And I bet you I can get that current going even higher if I just add literally drop of water, 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 and we'll watch it probably go up even higher. Yeah, our current's climbing. Dead short and our current is increasing as the water works its way into the cell. So we have it dead shorted in current mode and we're almost hitting 50 milliamps. And the cells also recharge themselves up over time and accumulate a charge. Once it hits 50 I'll switch it to voltage. We are at 50 for voltage. 
probably climb up to almost nine, I would guess. Can you imagine if I had uh, 12 or 24 of these, what I could do? So definitely going to build more with the new perfected mix. Absolutely non-corrosive whatsoever. There is zero corrosion to any of the chemicals in here. It's just four ingredients, one of which is powdered granite, is what I'll say. Absolutely non-corrosive. One of the ingredients is powdered granite, and at this time, I will not reveal the other three, but it is extremely simple. One of the other ingredients is known for absorbing the most moisture out of the air, and is again non-corrosive. And I'll leave you guessing on the other two. Very cheap ingredients too. I'll do current again. It increases under load. Might even go above 50. I'm gonna hook up the motor again soon. So we're at 51 milliamps. And then let's just go straight to hooking up the motor. And here's what the motor looks like for the naysayers. Let's hook up the motor. Don't care that it's backwards. And there's the motor. So, there's under the desk. There's the motor. See it running. And now we will do readings on each individual cell. Oh, and I'll hook up an LED to it. Video diary. Free go. Free go. I'm, I'm trying to do a video diary. Come on, That's extremely bright. Wow, that is bright. All right, we get the idea. It's a water power cell. Um, now we will do readings on each individual cell. Well, just one individual cell. It's a pain in the ass to connect and disconnect them. Here's a good look at one of the cells. Just sealed the bottom with hot glue. Made the design clean. Um, the top is nearly sealed. There's that little opening I left where I can add a drop of water. No, I'm just going to disconnect these leads because they are annoying me. So, here's how one cell works. And I'm just going to disconnect everything because these are just getting in the way. And we will do a quick reading on each and all of them. Probably should have let one of them dry more before using it. Alright, anyway, so, the one we will be taking a reading on is the cleanest looking one. Let's see if we can get the stand on the meter to show. There we go. Alright. We will do... Yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, we're going to have to connect with leads. Alright, we have leads next to our meter. Now we will clip to the cell. Uh, 22 milliamps on that one. And a voltage of 1.60.
I'll also show how um, just two cells of my design can run an LED light brightly. So I will have these two guys. If I can do this without knocking it down, we will see. Well, it might fall down for a moment, but then it might come back up. Oh, well, they just they just want to lay down. They need to be screwed into some kind of base. Anyway, we have two cells here. Oh, we'll get a lead. So, just two cells. Here's our current from two cells in series. 31 milliamps, 32. Here's our voltage. Should be enough to light up in LED. We will see. Just from two cells of my perfected design. And keep in mind, we still sell Tesla coils and stuff too. So we're getting into advanced crystal power cells, advanced Tesla coil setups. Um, that's not on in any way. We're experimenting only with the crystal cells. And we're going to be getting into advanced jewel ringer circuits soon. So let's see if I can pick this up and walk away with it. Yeah, so I'll put this on the ground here. So as you see, crystal cell, if you touch them together, it's shorted out. If you do this, it'll begin to recharge itself and run. So, they're power cells, they're not batteries, because they convert ambient moisture in the air into electricity and you can just add a drop of water and they convert that to electricity so yeah you can stack these up scale them do whatever you want and I'm gonna sell each one each individual one for possibly 10 or 20 bucks I haven't decided on the price yet um, members of my website will also get a discount obviously depending on your tier tier level um, but Members of the website and the Patreon will absolutely get a significant discount. So, that's that, and take care guys, the research continues.